Good morning guys, welcome back to Florida day seven, our first water park of the trip and of course we've come to Volcano Bay, the best water park, the we've best. got our tapu tapus but by the looks of the crowd walking in and speak to the security guard, it's quiet. It's going to be another dead one like last trip. It's going to be another dead one which nice. I hope so for everybody else's sake that's never been, I hope it's a dead one that way we don't need to use the tapu tapu, we can walk on every single ride. It's going to be a good day if it is anyway. Also just want to point out, I didn't actually know this, I'm sure a lot of people probably did, you can't bring glass into the water park. Uh, I brought some well, after shaving. You can't bring it into Universal non-stop. Yeah, I brought some uh, after shaving and apparently you can't use that so they give you a little ticket they won't take it off you won't put it in the bin they'll take it off you put it to one side you keep a little tag or take a picture of the tag and then when you leave the park go back out and collect it so for yeah. a minute i was a bit like woo because it's money you just come back to the hotel wouldn't yeah. you? it's not like the end of the world it's just a bit annoying because we've had to uber it yeah i, I wouldn't um, have let them bin it uber price 18 dollars right 18 dollars yeah yeah and that's uber or lift we checked both didn't we it was lift yes yeah, so sorry lift. so uber wanted 20 lift wanted 18 that was it was a four minute wait which is fantastic yeah it was really good that, so actually. really really good yeah. so what we're going to do now is we don't normally get a locker but we're going to get a locker because obviously uh, nat's got a louis vuitton bag and you know we've got passports ids bank cards i'm going to put my purse in there yeah i won't need that and i'm going to obviously um, put um oh my wallet's on the floor I'm going to obviously put... He's just throwing his money around here, guys. My I love it. Spend that money. I'm going to throw it away. I love it. Yeah. We're we'll just waiting for Chris <laughs> to pick up a brand new tower. He's going to get the yeah. Jurassic Park tower. That's the tower it's I've sick. wanted for ages. Yeah, it is sick. Yeah. I love that tower. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab a locker. I'm going to show you the price of the locker. I think it's still about $20, $20 odd dollars. But we'll show you anyway. And then we're going to switch to the GoPro. We're just going to get one, aren't we? Yes, we're one going to get the one. I'll share, share it. it. Split that money. More for cocktails. So the lockers are actually cheaper than I remember. They are $16. But we're, like I said, we're only going to get the one. It's just down there, I'm going to chuck all the uh, valuables in that way. They're not going to be left by the sun loungers. $16 between six of us. Yeah, pretty cheap. So as you can tell, I've switched to the GoPro. We actually not didn't get the sunbeds on the front. We actually got the second row because obviously there's uh, lots of towers everywhere. But as of right now, it looks very, very quiet. But look at that. Now the plan, now while the girls are getting set on the sun loungers, me and the lads, we're going to go and hit the drop slide. Now, Chris said he's only going to do one of them. So I've told him the drop slide is the easiest because the spinning ones are savage. The red one hurts your back and the green one you can't breathe. So we're going to do the drop slide first and then maybe jump on a few more with the girls and then the lazy river. So we have just come off all three of the body slides. The red one, the body plunger, that's the one that goes straight down. That was fantastic. Even Chris liked that one. We went on the green, then the blue. The blue is really easy. Like, I was able to open my eyes, but that green is absolutely savage, isn't it? It's really good. It's it savage. hurts. You can't breathe. And I nearly burnt myself twice. It's, it's the ankle thing. The moment you drop, your ankles kind of separate. Yep. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still going to do it like three or four times. Yeah. But I mean, I'm glad we did it straight away. First ride we've been on, because again, they're all walk-ons, because there's literally no piano. There's obviously no piano. But on, in terms of ride, every single ride now is right now on the tapu tapu so that's class but now all the girls are together lucy's just here <laughs> we're gonna go and hit the uh cracker towel the roller coaster one because one that lucy's favorite it's ride now just in case it does get busy it is a ride now but unfortunately guys i cannot take you on there because again it's universal you don't let me come on universal don't be tired okay so i'm gonna try celsius just before i board the ride now i've been recommended this off a few people and i have no idea what it's going to taste like. In fact, it took me a while to actually find it. Oh my God. It's watermelon. You like the smell of watermelon? Like the watermelon sweets. That's amazing. That's really nice. It's not better than Silver Monster, but I like. Okay, so we've just absolutely smashed out most of these rides and we're just waiting for Cracker Tower. That's the only one. That's the roller coaster one. That's the only one that is requiring us to use our tapu tapu. Everything else is a walk on. I just want to point out we've just bought this as well. It's the first time we've ever had one of these. And we bought them because you can use them all day in here, refillable all day. And you can also take them to the Universal Park to where we will be spending the rest of the evening. Yeah, so for well it. Yeah, $17. Unbelievable. We should have got it on our Fish Universal day. Like yeah. We just at least we're not next time. It's definitely worth doing, guys. Oh, sure. Do um, if you buy two, it's fifteen ninety nine. If you buy three, it's thirteen ninety nine. So yeah. the more we bought, yeah. the cheaper it got. Yeah. So we've got one for a couple, haven't we? Yeah, and you can also get the ices, and you can also get the freestyle coat, lemonade, all that stuff. So there's quite a lot of stuff you can get them in. They're massive as well, aren't they? Massive. Really good value for money. Massive. Look at that. 
Oh. Yeah, so we just um, smashed at some rides, and on the way to one of the rides, we saw that there was a Mexican stand with nachos and tacos and things. So we're just gonna head over. I'm quite fussy, so hopefully they can work the magic and give me like chicken yeah, and I cheese. Like yeah, hopefully. If not, Chris got an amazing looking pizza and he gave me a bite, and it was stunning. So hopefully. If they can't cater for me, I'll just go and grab a pizza instead. So we'll uh, show you what we get. Yeah, I'm over. from the last trip we came on this lazy river was drained i don't know what they've done they were refurbing it fixing it repairing it no idea but it's back on this is the slower one this is the crap one this is the one for the chillers it's the other one the best on the rapid one isn't it Oi. <laughs> You normally get other stuff on it, like I'm assuming they're a lot bigger than this, but mm. let's be honest, ain't nobody can tie the death though. So for both these, the nachos and the chicken tacos was 26.60. So not too bad. Mm. But I'm dead fussy, I'm dead simple, so yeah. Let's give it a try. It's a black tortilla. I know I was just gonna say it's a black tortilla. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's really, really nice. It's got a lovely, I don't know what the chicken's marinating, but that's really good. Mm, With some chips. Oh yeah. So you got some little like, crisps. I'd like to try that natural as well. But these yeah. tortillas are super soft. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, normally nice. they're um, hard tacos, aren't they? Like yeah. Christmas show. I like Mmm, nice to meet you. So that food was absolutely lush. It was super fresh. Yeah, really nice. I felt like there was something I really, really needed. I needed something really light and fresh because obviously with the stodge we've been eating. Another sip. But because it was super fresh and because it was super light, I'm still hungry. Well, it wasn't the biggest plate, but was no. it like, normally when you get nachos in the US, like they're absolutely massive. Yeah. And it was like a nice little snack, so I could eat some else. Yeah, I'm going to go and get a pizza. Yeah, I'll have a look at this pizza place, so I don't think I want a pizza, but if they do like fries or you know, something else, yeah. Well, I'm gonna grab a pizza with Ben. Me and Ben said we're gonna go and share it because, like I said, because yeah. it was super light, super fresh, it just hasn't quite ugh, it's not, it's not filled that void, you know what I mean? And I also want a cocktail today. Oh, there's a wasp! You see that then? No, it landed on the lens. No, yeah, just arrived at the pizza place. I'll show you the menu quickly. We're gonna refill this cup that we've got, 
and then later on grab something sweet and then grab a cheeky cocktail. Pina Cloudas all day. So this is the menu. Oh, mac and cheese. I feel like I desperately want the mac and cheese from Slim, no, Chicken Guy, because that was amazing. That was from the last trip that. I've been thinking about it ever since. I'm thinking of getting an island barbecue chicken, but without the red onions and, no, that's it, without the, without the onions, because with these refillable cups, you can also use the freestyle. All these flavors, look at that. Oh, Minute Maid, we need to get some Minute Maid. Ooh. And of course, the ices are behind the till. So I'll be grabbing one of those as well. What yeah, are you going for? This was. They do Minute Maids when they draw different Minute Maids. You know, like raspberry, yeah. like if I go on Minute Maid drinks, or is it under lemonade? Ooh. Well, we've got Minute Maid all of them. And then if you go on the lemonade section, Minute Maid lemonades. You've got all these. They've got lemonade, pink lemonade, strawberry lemonade, raspberry lemonade, peach lemonade, orange lemonade, lemonade, oh lemonade, lemonade, lemonade. Let's go Which raspberry. Let's raspberry. try raspberry. Yeah. Yeah. I need to try that. Right, so we went for the pizza, it was $19 for this pizza, but to be fair, look at the size of that. So it's wider than your chest. Well worth it. We took the onions off. That barbecue sauce is immense. Right, I'm just gonna go for it. Wow. Mm. Well worth 19 quid. Well worth it. It's fantastic. We're never full, are we, Ben? Nope. Never full. Do you have a I'm not no. full. Don't have a bite yet, you'll burn your mouth. Amazing. 10 out of 10. So we've just finished off of the pizza. I'm not gonna lie, in terms of theme park food, that pizza was immense. It was incredible. Four theme park foods. Some, some theme park food you could think, mm, it's a bit crap. To be fair, the churros I had last time was also pretty crap. So I've not had another one yet. I don't really fancy a churro. I think it put me off them the last time we came, but that pizza, Wow, incredible, especially for theme park food. And 19 quid, quite a lot, but you know what? I'd say it's worth it for sure. We're just gonna head back over to the lounges. That's what Leanne and Chris are, they're just having a little rest for a minute. Wait for the girls to come out of here. And then the Tapu Tapu has just got off. I haven't lost it, it's on the lounger. The Tapu Tapu has just got off to say that we can ride Cracker Town now. This is where the cocktails are. Look for the red flags. I tell everybody, if you want a cocktail, look for the red flags. Cracker Tower was amazing. The only problem was we couldn't all get on as a four. There's a 700 pound weight limit. And with all the four of us, it hit 800. So we had to be separated. Ben and Chris went on their own and me and Lucy went together like we normally would do. But I didn't know the weight. I say the weight limit's low, but 700 pounds is quite heavy. That's, it's heavy, isn't it? Yes. And the four of us, well, we're just a little bit too heavy. It's this guy. Sorry, this guy. So the plan now is what we're going to do is we're going to hit the very quick rapid rivers because Lucy desperately wants to get in there. And then once I've been in there for about 20 minutes, I'm going to come out, head to the Dancing Dragons, which is where they sell the cocktails. And I'm going to chill out with a pina colada up until the fact that we're going to, we're going to leave because I think it's, I'm looking at my tappy tappy like it's a watch. It's not a watch. I think, what time is it then? About two o'clock? Yeah, just gone. Just gone two o'clock. And we have a reservation at two some important, which we've not mentioned before we've never done it before it's going to be a first time for all of us and i've wanted to do it for so many trips and this one we're going to do it so we do have to leave the park slightly earlier than normal uh, give us hours enough time to shower dry head over to the park and also sort out the issue with our perfumes because again we can't take the perfumes into the park i'm just hoping that universal security will keep hold of them so where's the river i'm lost i don't know where i'm going this way Let's go! You might be the one that truly got me I feel it too
Dragons for a cocktail. I went for a double pina colada. This was 15.22, which, you know what, for a double, I think it's pretty reasonable. It tastes incredible. Very strong. Like, just the Bacardi or whatever she's putting it, the um, coconut rum. It's sitting at the bottom, so it's very, very strong. The uh, girls and Chris are just coming back. They've all grabbed the cocktail. Lucy and Ben didn't really fancy one, so they've gone and got a, is it a Slurpee or a Icy, I think they've gone for. So obviously, we've got those refillable cups this oh if you know you know hey loose <laughs> you want some you want to try some no, go on have a sip like have a tipple i don't like peter clavis just have a tipple i'll have a I'll I'll tell you what have it yourself man i'll have a stick for you i'll have me a blue raspberry icy Strong that, isn't it? <laughs> it's strong that, isn't it? You know what? She weren't shy with the alcohol, so, you know, kudos to her. Yeah, so $15, I gave the dollar, uh, the, the dollar, I gave the lady a dollar tip. I gave her the dollar. She was dead nice, so. I like. They're coming back now. Oh, yeah, they've all got a bit of different things. Chin chin, baby! So nice, isn't it? So good. Very good, how are you? What's your name? Stephen. Stephen, do you want a pink colour? I do, it is pink. Pink is hot. Yeah, buddy! Woo! Woo! I love it. Yeah! And just like that guys, we are back in the Universal's City Walk with our matching tees. Rep and ET. Yeah, so we're just about to head over to Two Thumbs Emporium, chocolate factory thing. We have never ever been here, never eaten here before, but we decided, you know what, this trip we're gonna go and try it. I don't know what to expect. I've seen the menu and it looks mad. Everything is infused with chocolate. And if y'all know me, I like the chocolate. What are you drinking? Coca-Cola Icy. Icy Coca-Cola. We just refilled it from, it's just like, as soon as you walk into City Walk, just keep going and you'll see like a little stand and you can refill them there, which is good. It's just mad that you can We've pay. Had, we have had like four drinks already yeah. in this, haven't we? You can pay $15 for this and use it in Volcano Bay and the Universal Parks all in one day. And City Walk as well. Mm. I thought it was just in the park, yeah. but it's on City Walk as well, which is good. I've so also, why not? Just done a quick time check on all the rides in both Universal's and Islands of Adventure. 
and it's very quiet. The longest queue time is Hagrid's and that's at 60. Everything else is roughly around five minutes to 30 minutes and that is including Velocicoaster, so that is absolutely mega. And I then don't think, because of all the more work times like that, oh, Hagrid's will be 60. It's probably just showing 60, it's yep. probably not. I don't think I so. Don't think it's probably going to be half that maybe. Yeah. Or even like 40 minutes or something, so yeah. we could smash that out once we've um, eaten, try and get it on like a few times today maybe. Oh God, I hope so. I hope so. I said to these guys, we're, we're definitely not leaving the parks until we've done Hagrid's because it's amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, Favourite. let's head to Toothsome's for the very first time. as well this is our first sit down meal of the trip that's mad considering we're week in isn't it oh, yeah. i'm so ready for a sit down meal that way we're not fighting over uh quick serve and all that you know that quick service food which isn't always quick but food here looks amazing right so we both oh well to be fair all three of us went for the warm chocolate bread warm infused chocolate bread no idea what's on top it's salted caramel butter salted caramel butter <laughs> Mm. Tastes a little bit like Soreen. You know, Motlo, Soreen. Yeah. yeah. That's rich. Oh my god. I've got the chocolate then. Look at that in there. Wow. That's very nice. That's really nice. Very unusual, but really nice. Right, so I went for the May Contain Bacon Burger. Look. And it does contain a lot of bacon. <laughs> Look how <laughs> thick it is. What am I supposed to do with that? Chew it. <laughs> right, here we go. I went for a medium rare uh, cooked burger as well, because it'd be rude not to. You've gone well done, haven't you? Criminal. <laughs> no, I feel well done. Whoa. Whoa. That bacon. You hear it? Lovely. Punch it. That's really good. Really, really good. I like the pretzel bun. I was going to say, is it a pretzel bun? Yeah, pretzel bun. Oh, it's I don't have a pretzel bun. stripped it of its pineapple. Oh yeah, stripped it of pineapple. To be fair, it comes with a pineapple chutney. Now, I just assumed it was like a mango chutney. No, it just came with pineapple. Mm, 
<laughs> so I've gone for the mousse. It literally looks like um, a cocktail, like a, what do you call those? Martinis. Martinis. It smells ridiculous. Smell that. It smells ridiculous. That smells a good chocolate. Doesn't mousse, it? Actually, yeah. mm, this is 850. Oh, that's thick. That is thick. That's rich. Is it very chocolatey? So, obviously it's got cocoa powder on it. That's why it made me choke. But, it's like the cinnamon challenge with wow. cocoa powder. Wow. That's super light. That's a strong chocolate taste, that. This is my dream life, this. This is everything I need in life. This is everything. My happy place in this glass. Got some? Yeah. If it's too much though. How? How insane is that? In that it good? That is really nice actually, yeah. Oh wow. It's a good chocolate mousse. I don't think I'd be able to eat all that though, me myself. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So, two sum was amazing. I loved it. Absolutely amazing. Definitely one of the best uh, meals I've had this trip currently. The dessert was ridiculously good, oh my god. That is literally everything I wanted. It was just super, super strong chocolate. Like, you could tell it was, well, would you say good quality? I would say good quality chocolate, wasn't it? The, oh my god, it was. I don't know if um, we said what I had, but I went for a cheddar bacon burger. Yeah. Um, but I, I, it was really nice. Basically, I took, the, I took the bacon off it though, so it was just basically a cheeseburger. Yeah. But it was a really good cheeseburger. And he had the, um, the meat well done, which is how I like it, and it was really nice. But the fries, I'd say, weren't amazing. I thought the fries. Very plain. To be honest with you, I thought they taste. I thought they taste like salt and um, ready salty crisps. That's what I thought they taste like. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I could have done with a bit more like seasons or, you know, like sweet potato fries with a nice. Yeah. Like, I weren't raving on about them. But let's be honest, if you're going to Twosome, if you are going to Twosome, you are going for the dessert. Yeah, you're you know, fries, you don't go for fries, you're going for dessert. And you know what? I tried the chocolate creme brulee as well, which was amazing. It tastes like cake batter. And then obviously I had my French mousse. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 10 out of 10 for that mousse. It was super rich. If you don't have a uh, huge sweet tooth, you probably would struggle with it because it's quite big. But if you're like me and have a massive sweet tooth, you are going to love it. Mm. So the plan now, we're going to head into the Universal Studios Park because we want to get the Hogwarts Express from King's Cross over to Islands of Adventure because these guys have never done it. And to be fair, we've not done this journey for a while. We always got Islands back to this park, yeah, true. isn't it? Yeah, and it was currently a 25 minute wait, which to be honest, I don't think is bad. I'm gonna go and head straight to Hagrid because that is still showing as a 60 minute wait. So fingers crossed it's a little bit shorter. That way we can ride it as the sun goes down and maybe grab a cheeky ride again later tonight before we obviously leave the park. Velocicost is still 35, Hulk is 10. It's looking very, very quiet for us, which is great. So let's head on him and get on the Hogwarts Express. Oh, 
Range Rover. How sick is this? We've just got to Hogsmeade now. The Hogwarts Express literally took us 20 minutes, if that wasn't it, for the entire, that's the entire journey, you know, queuing and then boarding the train itself, and it literally took us 20 minutes, so that's fantastic. We're now in Hogsmeade. Hagrid is currently 60 minutes, so the girls are not going to go on Bar Lucy. Oh, no. So they're going to watch our bags instead of getting a locker, and we're going to hit Hagrid. It's a 60 minute wait, so we're more than happy to jump on that. And then maybe a cheeky Velocicoaster, yeah? Yes, yes. Let's Chris may come on it. Chris may come on it. He may not. <laughs> One hour later. So we did Hagrid's. Hagrid's was a class. It was sick. So it actually only took us 30 minutes to get on it. It was posted at a 60 and it was a 30 minute wait. And honestly, like, I was a bit nervous because it was a pitch black when we got on it. But it was so good. To oh my like, god. It was, I don't know if I want to say it was better because you actually couldn't see where you were going. Yeah. And that's saying something for me to say that really, isn't it? But like that's I what I said. The entire way around. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> Because I've said it's the better than it is. You can also tell it's different with Universal to Disney. At night time, when the park is about to shut, you can kind of tell from the cast members and staff here that it is getting to closing time because they just don't take you on. Like, I was, it's, it was a bit like we, we actually ran after Hagrid's, we ran to Lost Coaster, and unfortunately it did go down, so we jumped out of the queue and then legged it all the way to Hulk because we had 10 minutes left. We did obviously make it, it was a walk on, but. We're trying to like laugh and joke with the staff and they just weren't entertaining us. Yeah, they've so. probably, probably had enough. Yeah, yeah which is, you know what? It's understandable. No, no. I get yeah. it, it still should be a... Yeah, I was, I was kind of like waving one on it. He just, he was not interested in me. I was like, okay. I think we'd be happy that it's nearly time for yeah. You know what, it's been a long day and we all get that after work. So, you know, yeah. I forgive them. I forgive you. Yeah, I forgive you. You know, but class, Hulk was really good. Hulk was actually smoother than I remember. Like I was saying to Ben, obviously, like it's really rough, and if you ever rolled it, it can bang your head about about a little bit. But you know what? It was super smooth, which is surprising, folks, because it's quite old. But no, class, really, really good. But the park has it closed now, so we're going to head out to City Walk now, and we're going to go into the big Universal store. We need to find a magnet for Lucy's mom. We need to find a Jurassic Park magnet, and maybe a few more pins. Who knows? Yeah, now you've become a pin collector. Yeah, I'm loading my bag up progressively through the trip. So I've become a pin collector. Yeah, the thought. Dangerous territory. You know what? If this was in an adult, I'd take it. I say that about a lot of stuff. In it. Oh, yeah, but look at this one. This. Look at that one. That's $25, that's it. Yeah, I really like that. I do, you know what, Universal, I think they do quite a few cheap t-shirts, like 25, me personally, I think 25 for that, that's a good steal, that, that's a good bargain. A. 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 You've got that, bless you. A. You I've know what, on. I mentioned this again. A, I've got that as well. <laughs> I've said this as well before, it needs to be in grey or black. Yellow's a bit of a weird colour for yeah, that. Yeah, it's too much, but how nice is that? Mm. That is. It's my boy. Is there a price on it? Fifty-five dollars. It's not bad for fifty-five dollars, is it? Cute. It's very, very nice. It is really cute. It's really cute. Leanne's just bought that one, hasn't she? She's got it on today. Yeah, oh, this one. one. Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, I do like that one. I do like it. That's still one of my one of my all-time favourites. They've done. And this is a legacy store on City Walk, by the way, guys. It's sick. Hey, I've never seen this before. Oh, oh no, disaster I struck. Think you should buy it. Look at that. That is 30. Yeah, not worth it. Wait, is it two? Does it? No. 30 dollars? No, that's ridiculous. Again, I don't agree with that one. That's, it's less t shirt, more money on that. See, they've got magnets and Back to the Future. Well, I'm looking for a Jurassic oh, Park one. I do Look like at this that. one, like, magnet set. I do like that. I love Back to the Future. I think we should get one of these and put on back of the Mustang. Yeah. I actually like that. <laughs> and it's sick. Hey, that's the one you've got your top. That's on your top, isn't it? Sports Almanac. Yeah, look. It's Biff. Hey, Biff. Hey, Biff. Universal Studios. Look at the back. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. It's really good quality. Hey, that'd be super, you'd love that, that'd be super warm. Let's find out how much it is, shall we? How much are they? How much do you think it is? I don't know, I'm rubbish at guessing prices. 
That's all right for the for the quality. I said that's all right for eighty dollars. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be really thin. It's actually really, really nice. Because it's, it's got that um, inside it, and it like yeah. grey. Um, it's like a thermally. Oh, I do. I do like that. I like this cup as well. Very simple. Very simple. Cute. Seventeen dollars. I'm very cheap. This one as well, which is a nice little style yeah, I'm as well. To pick it up. Yeah, this is like a travel one, isn't it? Oh, another nice one. Kids again. $25 for a kid's t-shirt. That's quite a lot, that, isn't it? That's quite a lot, actually. That is quite a lot. You'd, pay, you'd want to pay that for an adult. Yeah. Well, well that, that's proof in the pudding. That one, that one over there was $25. Mm -hmm. Oh, sugar. I'm having, having claws on the floor, guys. Mare, me. So this is... Wow. Don't say this, then. I reckon it would oh smell beachy. Oh my god. Can you smell it? Yeah, it smells what I thought it was going to smell of. That reminds beach. me of um... It smells of like, you know that bit on Sorbing where they got to the beach? Reminds me yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $20 though. Quite a lot for a small candle. Yeah, but I do like it. I mean, if it's that's... not Bath & Body Works, guys. If that scent lasted throughout the house. Yeah, and I don't feel like that would, to be fair, because it's quite small. I, I mean, that. the classic. You know. I love that. Not got any Jaws merch, have no, you? No. I do like it, though. When I see people wearing it, I'm like, yeah, I like that. $30. I like it. I do. I do like Jaws merch. I wish I still had the right. Chris has just bought a new hat. He's giving me hat envy. I'll show you it in a minute. Oh, yeah. We told yeah, him to cool. have a look at this one. This is, this is perfect fit for me. I mean, 10 out of 10. I think you look like an 11 out of 10. I mean, I would. I'm a 12. Easy. <laughs> this hat's sick. So stay there, let's show all the little badges. Oh, it's sick, that. How much? It was $26 with tax, $28. This? Which I think's worth it. Definitely. Sorry, I've just literally like stood on the arm. This is... Same as yours, $26. Oh, go, I don't different. think that's bad for no. um, Jurassic Park as well. Does it like. suit me? Yeah. Because I say this because some Disney hats are quite shallow for my. I've got a big head. So some Disney I... hats are quite shallow. Like that's a quite a deep hat. Yeah, very deep. Um, I think it is quite shallow. Do you think it's too small for me? Can I have a look? I don't, I don't think it is. My, is my big head? I think it looks alright. Oh, yeah, I'm feel. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it could be better. I feel like I'm still a handsome chap. I mean, chap. it's still like an 11 out of 10, but if you adjusted the rim, maybe. Mm. I do like it though. I do like it. So we, this got mentioned to us actually recently. Yeah, a few people have tagged me in this and I've not seen it until today. It's a popcorn bucket. Brand new popcorn bucket. How to train your dragon. By the way. Toothless in it. You ain't getting much popcorn in there. The, you know what? They don't hold a lot of popcorn in these popcorn buckets, you know. I've always Ooh. said that. Look how cute he is and he lights up. This will cost you, this will set you back. There's a sign I think there, $30. This will the set first fill is free. Well, okay. to be fair, you ain't getting much. You're not getting much, you're not giving much out for that. I found you Jurassic Park magnets. <gasps> Chris. Jurassic, we've, right, we've them. let's go and have a look. So these are the magnets that Chris found, but <laughs> now nah, they're too big and they're for a car, not for a fridge. <laughs> these are the cars. Yeah, I mean you could put it on a fridge, but I mean I don't think my mum's got any room on a fridge no. for oh. that to be honest. But because we're a step closer. But we're a step closer, Chris. So thank you very much. Yeah, so the, the chat behind me just mentioned. I love that. You just mentioned that we could possibly check in the Jurassic Park yeah. section. Yeah, Jurassic yeah. Park section maybe to have a look. So we'll just look on our next Universal day. Yeah. And if I don't get one, I don't get one. It's just as a little gift for her. Um, but the thoughts there, mum, if you don't end up with one. Oh. I love that. Do you know what annoys me though? It's the black trim around it. Mm. Do you know that black trim? See, I don't mind that because it's black and black. Yeah. I so suppose. if that was like blue and then black, it stands out more. Oh, but is. actually, that's quite a good one. Okay, yeah, this is cool. See, now we're talking now. I mean, the price on these. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, how much are we talking on expensive. these? Expensive. They're thirty-eight dollars. 38 and I, it's got a 3d effect on that one that's quite you know, cool though, personally i don't think they're worth 38 in terms of quality right but i do love it is it a magnet? it's a wood magnet it is a wood magnet we're getting closer guys we're getting closer actually i don't mind them let's how much are they 15. yeah they're not bad actually they could be the next, if we don't see Jurassic Park one, I could maybe get a these. Yeah, yeah. So even though we were really full, look where we've ended up. 
Cinnabon, but to be honest, it smelled so good. When we walked past, we were like, shall we? And we did. There it is, in the bag. So we're gonna go sit on City Walk and enjoy. Show us what you got. This was six dollars seventy. Six seventy. Is it just the original? Oh. Get in my belly. Nice. I am literally so soft. I'm not. But oh. when is Steve ever full? Though, let's be honest. So. Oh, even Leanne's made a cheeky purchase. Leanne, did you get bites? The little ones, yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice. Right, let's go eat more food, even though we're really full. Where's Chris at? Oh, what a tune. I know this song. Let's go. Let's go. Just like that, guys, we are done here at Universal. My cinnamon roll was beautiful as usual so we're just gonna head back to the hotel because it's currently i don't have a watch on i think it's about half ten does anybody know what time it is uh, quarter past ten and the park closed at nine so we just had a little bit of stroll around city walk went in a few shops we didn't find the magnet but today overall has been the best day it's been super quiet hasn't it Definitely. volcano bay class class there was only one big ride we had to queue for that was 100 it went up to 150 minutes that was that cracker tail uh, but the rest were ride a uh, ride now, walk on, whatever you want to call it. Class day, it's such a good day, isn't it? Super. Best super water park. Best water park. Yes. Yeah. So with that being That's said, the only one you've done. Though. Yeah. The only one we've done. So we are going to head back to the hotel now. Uh, we're going to have a. Uh, I say late night. By the time we get over there, it will be a late night. Uh, but tomorrow, next vlog for you guys, we are going to go to Disney Springs in the morning and then spend Animal Kingdom in the afternoon, go to Sickies and then spend it the rest of the day in Magic Kingdom because that shuts at 11 p.m. So. With that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you next time. Bye.